Hi viewers, in this tutorial, I am going to share with you some uh, tips and tricks of Microsoft PowerPoint and the animation styles that you can use to make uh, attractive and focused presentations. I hope you will enjoy the session. So let's start our tutorial. In Microsoft PowerPoint, for example, if you are presenting a picture or some information, so how we can make the use of more for focus to attract the attention of different participants for example if you look at this picture let me show you in the slideshow so here if you are presenting this big place for books and this is the place for tv these are sofa this is, there is no proper focus here now for example let look at this example in this now you see if you are showing it that these are the uh, sofas, this is the place for books. So how you can do that? Similarly, for example, if you have some data you are presenting. So if you are talking about this is the gender wise, this is by age, this is the graph, this, that is the graph, even if they are separately on different slides. But why not if you uh, present it like this, for example, this is your table on one slide. So when you are talking about this table, so it might not get the proper attention of the participant. Now, what if we use the morph option and some uh, tips and techniques like this? If we say these are our regions, the other area of the slide is gray. Then you click and here you see by gender. E even you can highlight these percentages also with this technique. Here you see by age. It will maintain the focus of the participant on that specific area which you are presenting. And then, for example, you have this chart. You want to present it. So, if you are talking about that in Dere Ismail Khan, we have this percentage male, this percent female. So, all you would be talking, but it might not be very attractive. So, why not we use this technique? For example, here you see these are the male information. Here you have female information. Here you can see the total overall. Similarly, you can do these uh, different types of animation for different purpose to obtain the focus of the participants. How we can do that? Let me explain. So now let's see. For example, we have a picture here in our first slide. Now uh, I want to apply some techniques and animations to make it more presentable and attractive and focused for the participant. And I want to show the different areas with zoom in. So keep this picture here in the first slide, then control D. With control D, I just duplicated the same slide here. Now, here you can see the preview of your picture. So first you see this is fit on this slide completely. Now, let me, for example, first I wanna show this TV. Zo uh, drag it with the mouse. Here you will see, now it is zoomed. First it was like this, and when you dragged it, so it's like this. Now you can adjust it from here. If you just want the TV to be uh, visible here. In the same picture I'm using, I'm not cropping it just to show in one slide picture because that would proper animation with the morph okay so you have to use the same thing in all the slides because transition morph option identify the picture in different slides and it takes you there with that proper animation so here you see you can preview it here whether the tv is properly visible or not uh, just zoom it out from here and drag it more and now see here in the preview the picture of the tv is properly zoomed in drag it a bit more and adjust it properly now in the next slide control d now what i want to show i want to show these sofas okay so bring them here here you will see 
whether it's properly visible the preview you see here so just make it a bit more adjusted here now it's properly zoomed in control d slide and then control d okay so now now i want to show this chair so just see it that is your slide you can see it this is your slide okay so you can keep it like this here you will see it's zoomed in here this is the uh, area which will be visible now in this one i want to bring focus to this bookstore so let me now keep this same slide duplicate it and bring it to the end at the end also do not select the first slide select the second third fourth fifth and then sixth and go to transition here and click more now you see there it's doing the same thing let me go to the slide show now from the first click in the first slide and then you will see now this is the picture now you are explaining that here you will have that led or lcd etc these are some sofas here you can see some chairs and this is the bookstore so you can explain it in the proper way and this is again now to the whole picture because this move function without this move how will it look like without move for example let me select it and keep it to none now let's go to the slideshow so here you will see it's not zooming in that way just pictures are uh, changing but if you apply the move option so it gives you a little bit different you see now it's zooming in here and similarly then the so this way you can present your information uh, another example for example you have some information or data now just see here we have some uh, tables and graphs and charts etc placed here you can keep them in separate slides also but just to make it a bit easy for you i have kept it on the same slide now for example i am going to present this table okay so just control d now from here i will uh, okay and this table you should change it to picture first it's good so how you can do that just right click it and here you see save as picture click and where you ever you want to save it just it will give you a name save it and then when you save it so then uh, go to that place wherever you have saved it and bring it back here now delete this one so here now i will zoom it properly and keep it in the center of the slide you can zoom out the slide to see properly now if i have this table on this one slide and i'm going to present so it would also create some issues uh, it would not be properly focused now i want to make it focus and you can do it in a lot ways for example you can just duplicate it and here you can crop the this place only okay and then in the next slide you can crop the other areas this and that way also you can do but the move function will not work properly so what you have to do you have to make another copy of this picture just control d now here you see you have two pictures the same pictures now i want this uh, the back end picture to be not properly visible so double click go to color when you double click picture format will appear and here go to color and 
make it light gray okay and keep this one right on top of it now select both of them with your mouse select both the pictures and drag them to zoom them now here i just want the district names okay so i will zoom out and drag them more i will keep them here so you see now here only the districts are visible properly the the, the gender wise data is also visible but that we will remove now now come here here and this slide we want the districts to be focused only so when you select with the mouse so it select both the picture but when you click away and then click this one so it will select only the first one the top one go to picture format crop now here in the crop do not click crop come here crop to shape which type of shape you want that it should be properly focused so uh, let me take the rectangle okay now it is cropped but do not click now when first you go to crop to shape and click the relevant shape that you want the focus to be remain on you can select circle you can select any other let me select the rectangle now do not click away and again click the crop now here you will see that your picture you have those crop option available now just from here this place drag it to this side now the this one is highlighted the previous one which we have already click here so in this slide only districts are visible now just control d the same slide and here click again the same picture go to crop click crop only and drag it to this place too now in this slide i want the focus to be on the gender wise information if you just want the male on this slide so keep it to the male only if you want that no issue i can keep it like this so that's also okay if you want only male so keep it up to the male then control d in the next slide click it go to crop and drag it to the female then control d click go to crop and drag it to the female side now in the next one i just want by age so control d and click it go to the crop and here i just want this age wise information if you just want only one side or all the sides keep it there and drag it to this place also so that only that is visible and this gender wise is not visible and similarly in this slide now you see the focus and keep the focus on the slide now in this slide i want the districts so here you see the districts are visible here i just want the male so only male are focus here i want the female so you see the female are there here i want the total so the total is there but here nothing is visible in the preview if you see here why because select all of them and drag this age wise data to the center of the slide now you see here here you will see whether it's visible or not now let's uh, select the second slide third fourth fifth and sixth and go to animation uh, sorry transition and select more now it will look like this now let's see it in the slideshow this is the first slide but i am going just skipping it and going to the next slide here i just see the districts now you see it's the, the morph is slide is going on with that morph animation now it comes to the total and similarly when you click again so now it will bring you to the age wise data and in this way you can make it more focused and presentable i hope you got my point and you can use all these techniques for different purposes but this was just an idea and you can use your own creativity with other options also here you can see by characters by objects so all these uh, options you can use them with this morph animation
so i hope you enjoyed the session and uh, uh, please like subscribe and share the video and if you have any comment or any question so comment in the description and we will uh, respond to that so we have on this channel uh, the powerpoint presentation playlist also available given in the description where we have uploaded some more tutorial on powerpoint also if you visit my channel so you will see the sessions on microsoft excel powerpoint windows uh, online kobo forms microsoft forms google forms and many other sessions so go there watch uh, all these tutorials comment like and share with your friends and family members and uh, this session will continue i am working on the next session and will upload soon